Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. And we had a ton of updates come out last week at Microsoft Ignite. We are gonna break them down in this roundup. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. We got a blog post for the Power BI September 2020 feature summary. Now, one thing you may notice about this blog post is that it's not the Power BI desktop blog, it's everything. So it's got Power BI desktop, the service, mobile, all of those items now are in one blog post instead of having different blog posts for those items. This is a big undertaking, I know, because there's a ton of features that come out every month. So getting them all into a single blog post is a good way to just centralize what those updates are every month. And like I mentioned, it did include the September 2020 release of Power BI Desktop. So make sure that you update to the latest version to get all of the great features and check out the preview features that are there as well, including smart narratives. We got a blog post looking at the new Power BI experience inside of Microsoft Teams, and there is some cool stuff coming. There is gonna be an app inside of Teams that will be kind of the central home point for Power BI. So while you could enable tabs with inside of a given team for a Power BI embedded report, this is actually an app inside of Teams that you can go to that will basically have the home experience and let you explore all the capabilities of Power BI right inside of Teams. So if Teams is your big central point of your day, like where you communicate with folks, Power BI is right alongside of it. This isn't out yet, but in the blog post, it says it will be coming out over the next couple of weeks. So we'll have to stay tuned for the actual release, but it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good item for Microsoft Teams if that is where you live. We got a blog post looking at the next evolution of Power BI Premium. If you're using Premium, this is definitely something you want to be aware of and look at how this is actually working. These items are going to help hopefully improve performance of Power BI Premium itself just through the way it's being re-architected. Also, it introduces capabilities such as auto scale to make sure that if you do go past your given capacity, you're not gonna affect the end user experience, which I think is really important. Another thing I'm gonna be paying close attention to is the refresh scenario. So you used to have limits in terms of how many refreshes you could have with a given capacity. This is gonna change the game from a refresh perspective. So definitely keep your eye on that if you're using premium. Links as always down in the description below, along with links to all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items, so go check it out. Probably the biggest buzz at Microsoft Ignite for Power BI outside of the new icon is premium per user. So a new licensing item that will be coming for users that want to take advantage of premium capabilities, but don't necessarily want to spend the money on a large Power BI premium capacity. So this is targeted more for that small to medium business personas that don't necessarily have like more than 500 users where that price benefit's gonna pay off on a P1. Chris Finland did a blog post where he's answering a lot of the questions that have been coming out from Microsoft Ignite. This includes just matrix on what capabilities are there for premium per user, as well as sharing capabilities, things of that nature. If you are interested in premium per user, definitely read this blog post, check out the comment section. Also, Chris has been very active on Twitter as well, answering your questions and check out the live stream that he did with us last Saturday where he went through and talked a lot about it as well. I'll have a link up above and down below for that. No word on price yet. That will come out as these items roll out over the coming months and into next year. So we'll, we're, everyone is eagerly awaiting that information. Don't have any word for you yet on that piece. Arun Ulag had a blog post looking at driving data culture. This blog, if I didn't mention any of the other updates at Microsoft Ignite, this blog really recaps all of those items and the big announcements that came out. So definitely check that out if you wanna get up to speed on all the big ticket items that came out from Microsoft Ignite. I kinda look at it as like, this is the state of the union blog post for the future direction of Power BI. Thursday, October 1st, there is going to be a business applications launch event. So if you're not familiar, business applications is the group that Power BI rolls up into at Microsoft. This includes the entire Power Platform and Dynamics. This event will be a free digital event where they're gonna walk through all of the, the items that are coming out. So this is your way to get a tour of those items and 
what's going to be coming in the future for Power BI. So this is kind of like a teaser for all of those new capabilities to go a little bit more in depth than what was possible at Microsoft Ignite. So definitely check that out. The blog post has the information of when it will be and how you can actually get into this event or view this event. So check it out down below in the description. All right, I wanna hand this off to you. What was your favorite item that was announced at Microsoft Ignite for Power BI? Let me know in the comments below, I wanna hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.